And new tonight, officials move in and shut down a popular pop-up street market. It's instant celebrity and big crowds were fueled by posts on social media. The site in particular, TikTok. The city fenced off the street this afternoon, but tonight it appears vendors are already back in business. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live on the scene in Lincoln Heights. Good evening, Candace. Good evening, Pat. Yeah, it didn't take long for businesses uh, to continue uh, selling uh, their items here. We're uh, just along Humboldt where you can see uh, there is a pop up here uh, selling tacos, a very popular spot. A lot of the locals uh, coming here uh, to get dinner at 606 this evening, uh, a very uh, popular uh, site out here. Uh, also want to pan over and show you, though, Avenue 26. If you follow me over here, the popular spot where a lot of people I was out here maybe a couple of weeks ago uh, covering uh, this uh, market. As you can see, it is now shut down. There are fences, there are K-Rails, uh, basically no vendors shut up, uh, set up. It is shut down to the public, as you can see. Also want to get you to a look from Sky 2 uh, of the closed down alley. As I mentioned, there are K-Rails blocking off uh, both ends of Artesian Street uh, in this industrial area just off the 110 freeway. As I mentioned, just about a month ago, and uh, there were vendors on both sides of the streets, uh, but quite the opposite today as everyone uh, has been cleared out. Uh, look at this video, though, of the market just weeks ago when vendors were set up selling everything from tacos uh, to hot dogs and clothing items. Uh, people showed up each weekend all across the state to get food, clothing, and other items. Uh, the Avenue 26 market uh, had been known as a taco stand for decades and gradually grew to an open air market of various goods. Now the pandemic pushed it to new limits with vendors selling more than just food and attracting people from all across the state, uh, which angered a lot of people here who live nearby. The traffic sort of built up, uh, the streets were congested, it angered a lot of people who live nearby. Uh, we spoke to vendors uh, about the recent shutdown. They don't say anything. It's just closed today. We don't know. We have everything ready to sell today. We sell food or whatever we sell, we already get it. There's family that needs money, and we're over here working, and all of a sudden they just closed down the alley without even telling us. Like, that's not right. Yeah, a lot of the vendors, this is their sort of livelihood, uh, how they make men, uh, ends meet. I did speak to Councilman uh, Cedillo, who represents this, di uh, di this district. He said that he is going to be coming out here shortly to speak with us uh, in person to talk about working with the vendors and the residents here to uh, get the market back open. But ultimately, from what I'm told, people do want to see it reopened, but in a more controlled way. Reporting live, I'm Candace Crone, CBS2 News. Pat, back to you.